most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and retirement worth having. When we do this, we have to look at our employment going forward. What rights do we have as an employee to represent ourselves in the position in which we're in? Are we paying attention to the laws that govern our employment? Are we paying attention to the codes of ethics that are made by our corporation president or our company leader? You see, a lot of young 20-somethings and early 30-somethings are sort of bored in their life. Maybe they didn't get a chance to go off to college, or maybe they didn't get a chance to go off to university, and maybe, whatever reason, they didn't have a chance to plan their life from junior high to high school for an afterlife of that in a post-secondary degree. But in life, we have many opportunities to prove who we are in the world. And we prove who we are in the world by following the rules of the world. The rules of the world say you may not enter someone's house without their permission. The rules of the world say you may not enter into someone's baggage without authorization. The rules of the world say you may not do things to lie against other people's lives unless you're prepared for when you die to meet your maker to explain things to him. You see, the Lord God above, whether you believe in him or her or it or not, has a plan for people. And if you're that foolish about God, if you're that undereducated about the amazing amount of data and research that have almost proven to less than 0.03% that there actually is a divine architecture, then what I'm going to say to you is that you're a liar. Because every day there's a player who wants to play in a community. It doesn't matter whether you travel from the California coast across to the east coast of Boston and the wonderful Gethsemane Sea overseas. There's always going to be a child who is raised up by his parents to be a child, a sinner of Satan. A sinner of Satan believes that they have rights over other people's lives. A sinner of Satan doesn't know God at all in God's eyes. A sinner of Satan has followed the Lord nowhere. A sinner of Satan believes that there is no Lord anywhere. A sinner of Satan doesn't watch their mouth or their situation. A sinner of Satan would allow a girlfriend to get out of the car, walk up to someone, and flash a gun at them as if she is a he who can machily go after a man who's probably two to three times older than she and old enough to be her motherfucking father or grandfather. The liars of the world like to play games. They like to play games because they're not using their brain to use their time when they have downtime at work, if they have any and are allowed any, or their free time at home to produce a better life for themselves. The lies that they tell themselves is, I'm going to play this game on someone's life because I just don't like their motherfucking life. But I have to apologize. At what point did you actually get permission to enter into that human being's life? At what point did you ever meet that person professionally? and show yourself with substantiality. At what point, motherfuckers, did you get any type of authorization to interact with that person on any level of socially appropriate life? So let's really get to it. How old are you today? When did you learn to play? And how, motherfucker, did you learn to enter into an adult life without recognizing the rules of life? The rules of the life say, he who has the gold make the rules, which means your employer and the president of that company, that corporation, that non-for-profit organization makes the rules of that organization. And if you can't follow the rules of the organization or the social etiquette of society, then you don't belong in that company. If you can't follow the rules of employment, which says these are the boundaries of your job here and here inside our company as an inside salesperson, then you probably have found yourself on, on the outskirts of a job. If you want to marvelously be a leader or do something by yourself, well then by all means, go off and be an entrepreneur. Go off and find yourself a, your own business, build the marketing plan, build the business plan, really plan it out so that you can last more than a few months and actually do a five-year kind of plan. If your business gets past five years, then you're probably doing okay. But we got a lot of opportunities of jobs around the community today. In your life, you don't have the right to presume that anyone else could work your same job. I had someone in a restaurant a business who was a marvelous employer of my late spouse when she got a special permission to do that, literally understand that she needed to learn what to do. 
but she asked me to help out when they were understaffed, and I did, but I don't quite have the mind for a restaurant business, and it wasn't that I couldn't do it. It's that her marvelous sister, who also worked there with the owner and who the sister was, kept interfering with my mental processes of how I was handling tables. It was very difficult. I finally just walked away because they weren't going to re regard me in any way. They also weren't going to respect my late spouse and the fact that she understood how I worked and thought that they should have left me alone. But they were just trying to help. No, they weren't. They didn't need me if they needed to do all that help on top of me. Now, I'm just giving you an example of what it's like. I can also tell you other stories of working in retail when I was 15 to 16 and, and worked in a restaurant called Hardee's, but I could also talk about other places I've been. Now, isn't it interesting that if I say these things, if I share these details, the few people that will actually listen to me and will actually do things for me might just pretend to do it so that they can take information back to someplace else to kind of get to it. You see, the liars of the land never want to work. They never want to understand how their life impacts other people other than being a jerk. And the liars of the land always presume that they've got rights to someone that they have no rights to. They've never met them. They've never introduced themselves. They don't know how to be a man in the community. So they always work at the, and play at the lowest levels of life. Now, I'm not being presumptuous and I'm not being offensive. I'm talking about the realities of life, that these liars of the community like to lie, steal, and cheat people out of their lives. And they do that by stealing intellectual property, pretending to be people they're not, playing their names in fraud, committing identity theft, literally abusing people's rights on their computers and their cell phones and whatnot, and they just think that someday they'll never get caught. 